Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, I woke up this morning, you know, with a strike on my main page. So on that channel, I can't upload for a week. So I created this backup page. All right, GMS Memphis, Zah, Bon, Ban, Yum, Yum. And, um, you know, so I said, well, woke up with a strike on my page. Um, so let's do a, 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 a lesson about famine of the word. All right, so, uh, you know, we, we, we expect this to happen more often. All right, because um, hey, we're in those times that, uh, you know, we're in the times of persecution. All right, because the 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 video that got a strike was like a really old video. You know, they had to dig through my channel to find something. And uh, they deemed it as hate speech. All right. Uh, the video was called uh, Homosexuality is Against the Bible, which is, you know, common knowledge <laughs> to those that read the scriptures. Um, and, yeah, that's what the lesson was going into. I was just explaining that, uh, that uh, homosexuality is, you know, an abomination according to the scriptures. Um, but, you know, they deemed it as hate speech and put a strike on my channel, so now I can't upload for a week, so that's why I created this backup page. Um, this is Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, our Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. <laughs> So we're coming into those times, you know, as we approach, um, you know, stricter draconian laws and martial law. Uh, you know, the scriptures talk about how, hey, um, how a man shall desire to go into a city and not be able. You know, you're going to have lockdowns, you know, intensify to the point where, hey, you know, they, they, They've already had it to where, you know, travel restrictions and, uh, uh, you know, temporarily. But, hey, th this place is going to be shut down for good. All right, this is uh, St. Ezra's 15. Um, and I'll start at 15 just to paint more of a picture of, A, what's already happening, but B, what's gonna, it's going to intensify, all right? These prophecies are going to intensify as we approach, you know, the, the microchip, all right, which is the mark of the beast, you know, at being mandated and being forced, you know, forced vac vaccinations. Um, man, like I said, just more strict draconian laws. Um, but St. Ezra's 15 and 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. <laughs> And one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, and the modern day sword is, you know, the the gun. All right, it says, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. Sedition among men. Let's look up that word, sedition. Conduct or speech, inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. And isn't that what the whole, you know, Black Lives Matter is? <laughs> inciting you know rebellion defund the police you know um and then you know it, it it's not just you know liberal lefts but it's also you know people on the right they feel that their voice is being taken uh, you know along with <laughs> basically everybody that falls under their project megiddo because um you know we we say it's not it's not just us at Great Millstone. It also goes into, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find the document, because it, it basically, yeah, here we go, you know, <laughs> the introduction, when does the new millennium begin, blueprint, blueprint for action, the Turner Diaries, Interpretations of the Bible, 
uh, apocalyptic religious beliefs, the New World Order conspiracy theory, and the year 2000 computer bug, gun, gun control laws. All right, and this is what they're against. They're against, you know, Christian identity because that's what they're going to start with because it's a broader, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's very broad. It's a, you know, it, it, it's a huge umbrella and that a lot of people can fall on, under. And over there in Russia, they're already starting it. They've already arrested um, Jehovah Witnesses, all right, for exercising or for believing in extremist views, what they deem as extremist views, all right. And you know that that's an umbrella term. All right, you can anything you want can fall under that. But this is what Project Megiddo is against: all right, Christian identity, white supremacy, militias. You know, <laughs> militias. <laughs> you can't defend yourself. All right, also going into those gun control laws, which, you know, we're, we don't incite, you know, we're not calling for, uh, um, um, you know, we're not, we're not uh, telling people to uh, get your gun license and, you know, stock up on guns and ammo. We're not saying a hey, practice military drills because hey, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Um, but it also says black Hebrew Israelites, <laughs> apocalyptic cults, so you can't believe, which the word cult just means to worship. And apocalyptic, I believe it just means like a hidden or secret. Um, let's see, let's go to Adam online. Uh, pertaining to the revelation the book of Revelation of St. John in the New Testament. Um, uncover, disclose, reveal. Okay, so it's the opposite of secret. It's a lot, kid. Apocalyptic means to uncover, right? Like Revelation. Um, prophetic, uh, meaning pertaining to the imminent end of the world, right? And, you know, the end of the world is just an end of an age, which is, you know, the, this present world. All right, this present society, if you will. Um, but yeah, you can't believe in end-time prophecy. That's basically what they're getting at. Uh, <laughs> you can't, you can't um, <laughs> have ideas of the significance of Jerusalem. All right. Um, which Megiddo, that's where, that's, you know, over there in Jerusalem anyways. You know, the, the... Megiddo, that's um, really the Valley of Jehoshaphat, or Amagadwan, the Valley of Troops. Um, but anyways, that, that's what it, this is going into, all right? St. Ezra 15 and 16, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. <laughs> so as stricter laws come into play, you're going to have more rebellions against those laws. And verse seven, 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So there you have it. So not only are, is the internet going to be shut down, but hey, we, we, we won't be able to you know, go out on the streets and prophesy. And teach the word because lockdown strict lockdowns are gonna happen for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and last Passover you you know some brothers couldn't go out because of the COVID lockdown and we believe that a hey, every year around the, the Passover things intensify so and we're approaching the Passover all right it's coming up quickly you know you're gonna blink and it's gonna be over you know but hey these it's gonna intensify come come around the, the Passover because it always does um, it says man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation so hey the lack of bread so with the famine of the word you're also going to have another famine of bread and water, but also the famine of the word. Because hey, this uh, let's let's go to Ezekiel. 
33.